Does God ever cause sickness? Does God ever choose not to heal? What was Paul's thorn in the flesh? Um, Jesus was, these are three really easy questions. Which, <laughs> um, Jesus was sleeping in the bottom of a boat in the middle of a life-threatening storm. He was sleeping because the world he was living in had no storm. He was living in a realm of kingdom reality. He was actually living in a realm called peace. When they woke him up, he stood and looked at the storm, and it says he released peace over the storm. Now, how did he release peace? Because he had it to give. We know he had it because he slept in the storm. So you can only give away what you have. Can God give away sickness? No, he's not sick. You can't give cancer if you don't have it. (laughs) Question number two. Does God ever choose not to heal? No. God chose 2,000 years ago to make a purchase. Now, I bought a new car last fall, and I've got uh, 10,000 miles on it. It's the will of God for my life. It's a Chevy Avalanche, leather interior, four-wheel drive. (laughs) Dead deer fit nicely in the back of the bed of the truck. It's a a beautiful thing. (laughs) When I bought it, I paid cash for it, which is the first time in my life I've been able to do that. I wrote a check. I paid for it. Now, what if I went back to the dealer and said, um, I've decided not to buy the car. He's going to laugh at me. He's going to say, you can park it, you can burn it, you can sell it, you can give it. You can drive it over a cliff, but you can't decide not to buy it because you already bought it. How can you decide not to buy what you've already paid for? 2,000 years ago, Jesus made a purchase. He does not decide not to heal people today. The decision 2,000 years ago was to heal. Either the payment was sufficient for all sin or no sin. Either the payment was sufficient for all sickness or no sickness. Healing and forgiveness work in tandem throughout the scripture. You will find them in the same phrase consistently because it was the basic same payment of headed to the cross, the stripes that he bore, the blood that he shed that that dealt with um, uh, sickness as well as forgiveness. There's a third element though thrown in there is the word poverty. In uh, the word evil in the Gospel of Matthew where it says deliver us from evil, the word comes from the word pain. And the word pain actually comes from the root word poor. So the brush stroke of God's redemption was to wipe out the root of sin, the root of illness, and the root of poverty. So um, does he choose not to heal? No, he chose to do it a long time ago. What was Paul's thorn in the flesh? I don't know. Must have been annoying. I don't know. I, I, I have an opinion, but I don't think it was sickness. Um, his, uh, his neither, deal. Neither do I. No. I. I do not think Paul's sickness, Paul's thorn, yeah. was sickness. There, I've heard Pastor Cho talk on this. He said people talk about Apostle Paul having an eye disease because he talked about, I forget the verse, plucking his eye out, whatever. Some some weird thing. But what was the verse? I forgot. <clears throat> My mind went blank. Okay, he, he talked about something to do with his eye, and he's actually using uh, Asian, uh, remember this is, uh, the Bible is, um, is not Western yeah. culture, it's Asian, it's Middle East, it's Eastern culture. And he was using uh, Eastern idiom or proverb or phrase, and yet we take it to mean, well, he had an eye disease. And um, I, I just, I don't think that was it. He had a whole bunch of other issues uh, from... Uh, uh, from Jews that traveled around wanting to kill him and give him intense issues to his own, his own memories of being involved in, uh, in the slaying of many, many believers. I don't know if that affected. I don't know what it was, but I don't believe it was sickness. <coughs> Just I'm, that, I'm Bill's already alluded to the people persecuting him, but in the Old Testament, Paul was a trained as a rabbi. He knew the Old Testament better. Than, you know, I mean, those rabbis really knew the, the, the Bible of their day. But there's only two references to thorns in the flesh in the Bible of his day, which is the Old Testament. Neither time is it sickness, and both times it is a person's opposing some, someone. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
Awesome.